वेरी गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज शुभम सिंह हानिया एंड आई एम योर मेंटर फॉर यू जी सी नेट पेपर वन पेपर टू कॉमर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट सो द यू जी सी नेट रिजल्ट आर आउट एंड टूडे आई हैव अ वेरी यंग एंथुजियास्टिक एनर्जेटिक वेरी कमिटेड एंड एंड अ मल्टी टास्कर एंड ऑल राउंड कैंडिडेट हुज रिसेंटली क्वालिफाइड हिज यू जी सी नेट जे आर एफ इन कॉमर्स इन द वेरी फर्स्ट अटेम्प विथ नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन फोर आई एम नॉट गोना डू मच ऑफ द टॉपिंग टॉकिंग ही इज गोना डू मच ऑफ द टॉकिंग बिकॉज ही हैज a lot of things to share with you a lot of experiences he is a finance enthusiast he is a entrepreneur he is a teacher with a lot of experience of 3 to 4 years teaching students he is an expert in excel and a lot many things which i would certainly not be able to recall so heartiest congratulations saranj first of all for qualifying ugc net grf in the first attempt and i welcome you on the channel and i'm very very sure i'm in fact 100% sure that all those who are going to listen you today are going to become lot of your fan and are going to take a lot of inspiration from you so heartiest congratulations and welcome on the channel thank you thank you so much sir for inviting me it's a pleasure to be here i'm very honored i'm feeling very honored to be here actually saranj first of all how is the feeling cracking the ugc net exam in the very first attempt when we know that approximately 134000 students have applied for this exam commerce has become one subject jisme sabse zyada applications aa rahi hain So how does it feel? What is the feeling right now? Yeah, I still uh, remember Saturday Saturday morning when I was traveling in a car and uh, UGC UGC net results came out and I couldn't stop myself from checking it at the very first second. I I remembered my roll number and I immediately went to the site and it took me just fifteen seconds uh, to check that I have qualified for GRF and assistant professor and there was a loud shout that came out from my mouth. and uh, i was going back home and i was very happy because uh, i knew i'm going to tell my uh, parents and my family is going to be uh, very proud of me my school is going to be very proud of me so i was very happy and uh, i still remember the sunday morning it was it was the most beautiful morning that i have ever had because it was one of the peaceful mornings uh, it, it was like that i cleared something uh, very very uh, which was very difficult which is very difficult for uh, students all over india and only 1% 1.3% qualification rate for ugc net zero mm -hmm. so yeah it was very exciting it was a very busy uh, day it's been 3 days now and i am still receiving the congratulations message in fact even my uh, school has also shared and it's it's all excitement and all all uh, things are happening and it's the three days have been very fast now yeah i can imagine that i can imagine that because see 1% of student passing it up and young candidates like you passing it up who have not even passed out the post graduation so i can understand the kind of hard work the kind of dedication you must have put in to qualify this exam kudos to you and lots on lots of good wishes for your amazing future saraj thank you so much sir before we proceed i want the viewers i want the subscribers to know what has been your educational background what has been your experience you have had fair share of corporate experience also you had qualified you got placed also at some places and you had your own startup in terms of teaching so please tell our viewers about that saranj uh so i cleared my uh, class 12th from dav international school from panipat itself then i uh, moved to delhi university where i started uh, my graduation in commerce and economics and side by side i was uh, leading the three societies uh, in my college and i was also indulged in sports and academics and uh, there were internships in companies like vistara airlines uh, one of the most uh, beautiful airlines i've ever worked for and uh, there were companies perception world there were companies like uh, college desk uh, which is a du brand itself mm -hmm. so there were internships there were college societies leadership positions and there were competitions as well around the delhi university mm -hmm. but i was representing my college at college level and university at university level itself so the three year journey of my graduation was not less than a roller coaster right and uh, i literally enjoyed the sense of freedom and the responsibility that the college life brings uh, to one and uh, then i uh, unfortunately couldn't clear my masters entrance test for mm -hmm. delhi school of economics but i the, there were four months uh for which in which i was clueless about things but thank god uh, 
I literally thank Almighty God for uh, giving me the ample strength uh, to not give up in any situation. I started teaching uh, students, uh, Delhi University bachelor students, and uh, then I came to Panipat and started my own coaching center, naming mm -hmm. Success Paradise itself. Mm -hmm. So I started teaching plus one, plus two students for English, economics, and BST. Mm -hmm. And um, in the very first year, I, as a teacher, saw some excellent results, and that motivated me to go on. And side by side, I also uh, completed Excel skills uh, specialization from uh, Macquarie University, Sydney, Australia, Department of Economics. I also completed financial markets and investment strategies specialization from Indian School of Business, Hyderabad. I completed certificate in business management course from Nasim Institute of Management Studies. So I did not uh, stop studying at all. Uh, there were things I was uh, having side by side and I was preparing for uh, NTS duet exam. Mm. And um, finally in 2020 i cleared it with all india rank 46 and uh, got into got into uh, delhi school of economics uh, one of the most prestigious institutions around the country for uh, masters in commerce i i also uh, started in uh, in my career in investing as well i started investing in stock market in 2017 uh, oh. That was a very uh, early age. So I wanted to learn more about finance. I wanted to more, go more deep into finance. I um, have a history with my family in finance as well. So um, uh, this this all motivated me to pursue my uh, master's in commerce. And now as well, I am uh, pursuing MCOM in finance as well. Finance mm -hmm. and international business are two such fields which are very fast and very uh, in-depth. Right. Yeah, they are ever growing and there is so much to learn in finance and international business. Mm -hmm. I even represented a research paper on uh, FDI and it was international investment hypothesis recently in January in an international conference on advances in business and management organized by uh, Shahid Bhagat Singh College, University of Delhi. Mm -hmm. So my professors, Dr. Amit Kumar Singh and uh, Dr. Sunana Kanoji, are there are some professors who are motivating uh, who are very motivating who have been very motivating for me uh, to pursue my career in finance amazing saranch amazing matlab i think that in a such a small and such a young age i would say you have achieved so much in your life and i'm very sure ki wo hota nahi ki students ko sunke lagta hai ki bhai kitna aasan hai but i can just imagine ki kitna aapne effort dala hoga kitni patience or perseverance aapne dikhai hogi to handle all of these things because अभी क्या होता है मेरे पास स्टूडेंट का कॉल आता है कि सर हमारी मास्टर्स चल रही है या हमारी जॉब चल रही है नेट की तैयारी कैसे करें यू आर हैंडलिंग सो मेनी थिंग्स इन्वेस्टिंग एक्सेल सो मेनी कोर्सेज रिसर्च योर ओन स्टार्टअप टीचिंग एक्सेट्रा एंड आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि कितना चैलेंजिंग होगा ये सो अमेजिंग जॉब सारांश एंड ऑल माई गुड विशेज नाउ डेट ब्रिंग्स मी टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कि कब आपको लगा वेन डिड यू एक्चुअली थॉट कि यार मुझे टीचिंग में जाना है वो तो आपने मन बना ही लिया था बिकॉज यू ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विथ योर teaching journey very early so when did you actually plan ki nahi ab ye sahi time hai that i should start my preparation for nta not or precisely what i want to know is ki kitna time aapne kitna time devote kiya for your preparation of nta uh answer the first question uh, i uh, saw a dream of teaching since uh, in class since i was uh, in class 6 Uh, i was in sixth standard uh, where was uh, where i was answering teachers questions and i was making my class understand my viewpoints mm -hmm. and what mm -hmm. i have in my mind so that was the first time i saw uh, uh, that i can i can make someone understand with my knowledge and with my uh, with my words as well i have that uh, i have that slight talent of making somebody understand uh, what i wanted to say so, so And, but but the, but that uh, that thing went on uh, and but, but as soon as i uh, grew up and the, the the thing got fade away but I, when i was in graduation the ultimate time came uh, when i thought no teaching teaching uh, is my passion teaching mm -hmm. is something which is my passion and i saw many uh, i saw many teachers uh, who were lacking something something and i wasn't able to understand that but my mind was like that this this thing can be uh, said in that particular way also in which the students can understand in uh, in a much better way mm. so uh, i from that day i uh, took a step in teaching and i thought like it's my time now 
uh, to step on step into this uh, into this profession and make people uh, understand about things in a much better way in in which i can uh, explain mm. so uh, i started with my master's preparation and this day i got into delhi school of economics was the day i purchased ugc net books uh from delhi school of economics itself uh, there's a photocopy shop uh, in mm-hmm. dsc uh, which provides uh, uh readings as well for uh, paper 1 and paper 2 as well mm-hmm. at first when i saw the syllabus um, i was blown away you know, the 20 units i have to uh, go through and i have to solve so much of the things but uh, i started uh, finally four months uh, from uh, four months ago from 26 november uh when i was confirmed that now nt is going to take the ugc net examination mm. i first registered it as a mock exam but that time i did not know that this this is going to be my only attempt for ugc net and i'm going to clear it in the first uh, in in my first attempt so i started preparing uh, for ugc net in a very thorough manner and i mm. uh, went on with the paper 1 first and the paper 2 next after solving both the books i thought that this this is not going to be enough i uh, switched on to my youtube videos and i listened to your session as well and i had that blue book which is written by you and anand jindal sir uh, mm-hmm. for ugc net uh, exam i have that blue book with me uh, myself and i started solving that book and that was not the only thing uh, that was not the only thing i uh, i did i saw many i saw many of your videos as well and i saw many uh, videos from other sources as well. mm-hmm. so it was a mixture of uh, books it was mixture of physical learning and digital learning as well mm-hmm. uh, which which i took and apart from that the most important thing that helped me in clearing my ugc net was the handwritten notes which i prepared by myself mm-hmm. so i could see ki multiple sources bhi padhe books bhi padhi hamari wali book solve bhi kari जिसके अंदर एक हजार से ज्यादा क्वेश्चंस हैं, सो मींस यू आर वेरी डेडिकेटेड कि नहीं मुझे रिस्ट्रिक्ट नहीं करना है अपने आप को जितना ज्यादा मैं एक्सप्लोर कर सकता हूँ जितना ज्यादा कवर कर सकता हूँ यू आर मेकिंग हैंड रिटेन नोट्स आल्सो, तो आई एम वेरी श्योर कि एग्जाम टाइम में रिविजन के लिए वो बहुत काम आए हूँ uh it was a morning i was in e rickshaw as well uh, i was only reading my handwritten notes because mm. it was uh, for one like for one unit it was three pages mm. and that was the summarizing of all the things that i have learned in the past four months of all mm. the mcqs of all the multiple thousand mcqs uh, that i have solved uh, mm. the, those were written those important ones were written in fact when i was solving your book as well there were multiple questions that was uh from uh, the other topics as well so i did not restrict myself only to that particular mcq in fact mm. i went on to google and searched more about mm. that topic as well because right. i know nta if nta wants to increase the difficulty they can go in depth anyway in, right anyway right. so i um, i i went on to google as well and i uh, made the in depth notes as well right right i think that's that's a very good approach saranch and i keep telling all my students ki agar concept samajh mein bhi aa gaye hain us moment pe let's say you're watching a video let's say you're watching any video of any faculty to ek bar wo concept samajh mein bhi aa gaye hain but wo retain tabhi honge jab aapke paas summarized notes honge otherwise exam time mein sari videos ko dekhna possible nahi hai so i think that was a very good approach saranch now that brings me to the next question and it's a very pertinent question saranch students kehte hain ki sir time manage nahi ho raha you have been doing your masters you have been teaching also you have been doing various other things and you are preparing for your nta net exam also which is very difficult also so how are you managing time what has been your daily routine because coming from dsc i am also from dsc alumni of dsc i certainly know ki 9 se 5 baje tak to class ka hi time nikal jata hai 9 se 3 baje tak to nikal hi jata hai so how are you managing things this would give all the future aspirants an insight ki wo bhi kis tarike se time manage kar sakte hain तो प्लीज इसके बारे में कुछ बताइए सर या दैट दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन बिकॉज एंड इन फैक्ट द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर लिसनिंग टू मी राइट नाउ विल बी सरप्राइज्ड दैट आई नेवर सैक्रिफाइस दैट 8 आवर्स स्लीप इन माय लाइफ फ्रॉम सो फ्रॉम 24 आवर्स द 8 आवर्स आई हैव फिक्स्ड फॉर स्लीपिंग एज़ वेल एंड या दैट्स राइट एनटीए और सॉरी डीएससी कंडक्ट्स क्लासेस फ्रॉम 9 टू 5 एंड बट बट वन the one thing i uh, wanted to tell uh, everyone that mm. 
no matter what was happening in my life mm. uh, there were there were times uh, even i was not at home also mm. but there was a fixed fixed schedule that i had made always that there was a particular um, like, let's say if i am pursuing uh, a unit a unit one for like like let's say i'm pursuing a teaching unit and teaching mm. unit consists of 10 to 12 pages of a particular book the entire mm. day so mm. i choose how many days i want to give that uh, to that unit and mm. suppose if i wanted to complete uh, in two days so that six pages per day then mm. i have a deadline that this six pages have to be completed in today so mm. i give i have given 30 minutes i have given one hour or two hours i have to complete those six pages and make mm-hmm. my notes that was my target and once those six pages were completed i will uh, close my book and went on to other things as well so those four months each and every day had a particular deadline of mm-hmm. uh, either solving questions or mm-hmm. making handwritten notes or even watching videos as well there were videos mm-hmm. uh, which were 3 uh, hour long or 4 hour long i watched it in a 2x speed as well Mm-hmm. so uh, after uh, after making handwritten notes so i was watching in uh, 2x speed as well for my final revisions as well mm-hmm. uh, so there were there were there was a particular deadline uh, for the day which i have to be completed and the mm-hmm. same uh, happened uh, with uh, everything like for teaching i have fixed the 2 to 3 hours uh, i have batches fixed after mm-hmm. the, ba- the batches are completed i take rest as well Mm-hmm. for half an hour or for one hour for from 7 to 8 or from 7:30 to 8:30 mm-hmm. after that after having my dinner i have to give my time uh, to nta ugc net and it is very surprising that by 11:30 or by 12 o'clock i am in my bed so uh, so that i have a 12 to 8 uh, eight hours proper sleep as well fantastic i think wo kehte hai na work life balance bahut zaruri hai usi tarike se study and स्लीप बैलेंस भी बहुत जरूरी है बिकॉज इफ यू नॉट स्लीपिंग प्रॉपरली आई पर्सनली फील दैट दो ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग आई एम नॉट एबल टू कम्प्लाई विद सच लेवल ऑफ डिसिप्लिन एज यू आर सरांच एंड कमेंडेबल फॉर दैट एंड आई आई होप दैट यू कंटिन्यू डूइंग इट इवन वेन यू स्टार्ट वर्किंग आफ्टर योर मास्टर्स इन ऑल कंप्लीटली बट ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग डेड लाइन जब तक नहीं बनाएंगे इतना सिलेबस है पेपर वन टेन यूनिट्स पेपर टू टेन यूनिट्स यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू कम्प्लीट द सिलेबस ऑन टाइम विदाउट अ डेड लाइन सो अमेजिंग जॉब देयर सरांच सारांश अब मेरे दिमाग में एक दूसरा क्वेश्चन आ रहा है वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन हर स्टूडेंट चाहे कितना भी स्मार्ट हो डेली स्कूल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स हम सब बिलोंग करते हैं बट हम सब कोई ना कोई चैलेंज कोई ना कोई एरिया में चैलेंज जरूर फेस करते हैं सो so, किसी स्टूडेंट को बैंकिंग डिफिकल्ट लगता है किसी को डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन डिफिकल्ट लगता है बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स को स्टैटिस्टिक्स और रिसर्च डिफिकल्ट लगता है तो so, आपका वो टिपिंग पॉइंट डिफिकल्ट पॉइंट क्या था एंड हाउ डिड यू एक्चुअली ओवरकम दैट माई डिफिकल्ट Uh, i faced very much difficulty in indian logic uh, mm-hmm. talking about paper 1 that was uh, that was one unit so when i was working on paper 1 so i i had my units fixed in which i can score 5 out of 5 mm-hmm. but indian logic was something that that was not i was not able to understand in one go i mm-hmm. read about indian logic and i understood indian logic more than 10 times i mm-hmm. watched videos on indian logic more mm-hmm. than 10 times and even before uh, the ugc net paper on 26 november mm-hmm. i remember it was 23 or 24th as well i was writing about indian logic and i was continuously using my brain to understand the topic i kept it for last mm-hmm. and i because once i have uh completed all my units i kept indian logic at last and now i started understanding that thing hmm. because hmm. i know if i'm going to cram this i'm not going to do it right so i i kept on understanding it unless and until i was finally able to recognize what they wanted to say hmm. and i know i was solving your book and uh, indian logic even the easiest level questions i was not able to clear it but uh, when the exam came i solved indian logic very uh, very easily and mm. it was it was all uh, it, it it is very difficult in mm. logic i faced very much difficulty as well mm. and uh, in fact uh, this indian logic helped me in my uh, there was there was a campus placement uh, aptitude test as well and there mm. came indian logic in that so um, uh, that that thing also helped me in clearing that aptitude test as well nice and talk about paper 2 so now in in paper 2 there was only one unit which was income tax mm-hmm. because income tax is something in which you you should 
thoroughly know what uh, what uh, ITR uh, or what mm. what kind of ITR uh, talks about what what things. Mm. So like uh, like if if we talk about ITR four or ITR two, mm. so what they are particularly for, you should mm. know. You should be thoroughly. Mm. Uh, uh, you should be thoroughly covered with that and mm. uh, like and in fact about the deductions these are something that you need to know because mm. this is this is uh, fixed this this cannot be changed asked this will be question. asked right this this will be asked and so i kept i gave more time on income tax as well in fact even in the last as well i was um, remembering the sections that uh, the, this particular section is for agriculture income mm. or deductions i printed out the deductions and I was mm. learning it in, uh, mm. no, I have to score in income tax as well I cannot um, I have to be equally bifurcated um, mm. in all the units I have to cover all the units right right I think you're giving a very strong message to all our viewers and future aspirants Aranj, and that is not to leave any unit because see if you have left any unit if you have unit uske baad wo questions easy bhi aa jayenge na your mind your psychological thing is gonna tell you ki bhai maine to ye padh nahi rakha to main ye attempt kaise karu to wo by nature by psychologically you are gonna leave it but you did a fantastic job ki pehle aapne strong sare subjects cover kar liye and jo aapko thode se difficult lag rahe the you kept it at the last and last mein fir aapne effort laga ke usko cover kiya so i think that is a right approach that should be done because koi kitna bhi smart student ho koi kitna bhi intelligent ho कहीं ना कहीं वो फंसेगा ये ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है कि सब कुछ आता होगा सो बट द आइडिया इज टू बी परसिस्टेंट एंड कवर इट एट द लास्ट फंटास्टिक जॉब फंटास्टिक सारांश सारांश आप एक और स्टूडेंट के दिमाग में ना एक फैड बना हुआ है क्योंकि जब 2015-16 में यूजीसी एग्जाम कराता था तो यूजीसी के पास इतना टाइम नहीं होता था तो वो क्या करता था वो क्वेश्चन रिपीट कर देता था तो स्टूडेंट्स के दिमाग में एक फैड बन गया कि यार पास ईयर लगा के चले जाओ एग्जाम क्रैक हो जाएगा आई नो डेट यू आर नॉट गोन अग्री टू डैट But what is your take on it, or how useful are they? उसके बारे में कुछ हमारे students को बताइए, so that they get an experiential learning that how how did you face it? क्या वो useful थे, क्या वो नहीं थे, और कितना उनपे rely करना चाहिए, या फिर क्या outcome उनसे लेना चाहिए ऐसी past years? Um, yes, uh, past past year question papers, for in my opinion, are not for remembering those questions that NTA or UGC is gonna repeat in the exam. I to be very honest uh, with the students right now i started uh, past year papers from 2012 mm-hmm. that was not because nta is going to repeat those questions that was because i was looking for diversified number of questions to solve mm-hmm. so that i am practiced enough before exam mm-hmm. so i know it was taking my lot of time it was it take it took lot of time uh, to solve the past year papers i was solving Four to five or five to six past year papers in a single day, but that mm-hmm. was only to practice to know about the type of questions so that I should not miss anything. Mm-hmm. And if even if NTA changes the statements, that's not my job. I have to clear my concepts, mm-hmm. and the concept clarity only happens when you solve uh, more and more number of questions from those units, like for banking and for in, in fact. in case of numericals as well like for the paper one if you if you look at quant quantitative aptitude so if you if you solve those number of questions you will be become habitual of that particular type of question not only a single question that you cram that nta gonna is gonna repeat so uh, that was not my uh, um, uh, thing that i should cram questions concept clarity is what i have always looked for and for that i solved the past year papers as well Fantastic, fantastic, Saranj, because see, idea क्या है कि अगर आप पास्ट ईयर लगा भी रहे हैं तो वो क्वेश्चन अब तो नहीं रिपीट होने वाले बिकॉज एन टी हैज एन ऑनलाइन सॉफ्टवेयर एंड वो उससे ट्रैक करता है फैंटास्टिक जॉब देयर बिकॉज जितने ज्यादा आप क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस करेंगे जितने डाइवर्सिफाइड क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस करेंगे उतने आपके कंसेप्ट स्ट्रॉग होते जाएंगे तो अमेजिंग देयर अमेजिंग जॉब सारांश सारांश बहुत एकेडमिक बातें हो गई बहुत पढ़ाई के बारे में बातें हो गई नाउ लेट्स हैव द लास्ट टू क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन यू बेसिकली सो नाउ यू हैव क्रैक योर यूजीसी नेट एग्जाम इन द वेरी फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट विद सच अ वंडरफुल परसेंटाइल व्हाट इज योर स्टेप अहेड नाउ आर यू गोइंग टू गेट इनटू टीचिंग फर्स्ट आर यू गोइंग टू गेट इनटू रिसर्च फर्स्ट दो आपकी बातों से मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है बिकॉज़ यू हैव ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंटेड अ पेपर एट शहीद भगत सिंह कॉलेज ऑन फाइनेंस सो मुझे लग रहा है दैट यू आर गोना गेट इनटू phd in finance but still i want to ask you what is going to be your take now 
teaching and phd no, both i am looking for both right now so in fact i am i wanted to tell you that i'm already placed in deloitte from dsc itself Fantastic. so uh, but uh, phd is, P, yes phd is something that i am looking forward for and uh, i will be working on my research proposal from now onwards mm. as i know uh, that finally uh, net grf is cleared so the next step for me is research proposal and i know that entering uh, in fact you must you uh, must also be aware that dsc has very limited number of seats for phd and mphil well. and mphil is scrapped so, now so again the challenges have increased yes. Yes. So uh, since the challenges have increased and uh, it's difficult to get PhD uh, admissions in PhD from uh, Delhi School of Economics. So yeah, I'll be working on my research proposal as well. I will uh, sit for uh, the entrance exam for PhD mm -hmm. and will apply for it. And if by God's grace I uh, clear it and I get admission, then I will go for PhD. Otherwise, I'll start working as an assistant professor and wait for my turn uh, to get admission in PhD. fantastic fantastic saranch all my best best wishes all my good wishes to you and if you feel that i can be of help anywhere please feel absolutely free to get in touch with me i will be more than happy to help you and guide you thank Now, you so much sir you have always um, in fact your session at dsc was very inspiring uh, for me as well and i was asking many 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 stupid questions as well uh, like how is how is gonna nt how nt is gonna uh markers or how much how much percentage how much accuracy now we need because uh, in in fact you told me uh, uh that uh, the, this this much amount of accuracy that you need to target and mm. actually i applied it uh, in fact uh in my paper as well uh, because i was looking that the uh, cut off accuracy you know, that i should target first mm. uh, and after that uh, my aim was to increase my percentile as well clearing net uh, since nta has now stopped giving all india ranks so mm. the first and uh, first objective is to qualify for both grf and assistant professor then we mm. have to look at uh, the right. percentile as well so uh, your your session at dsc and in fact your book really helped me i in fact there was so much in your book and i have highlighted i have written a lot more than that in your book for my in, uh, references and your videos in fact uh, uh the words of wisdom from anuj jindal sir as well uh, has helped so many students like me to uh, clear and it's been an honor to be here to share my uh, journey with you thank you thank you so much saranch that's so nice of you saranch some passing off words some words of wisdom from somebody like you who has qualified this prestigious exam at a young age what is one advice you would like to give to all future aspirants no there are actually uh, two advices uh, which i would like to give the first uh, one is that consistency perseverance and determination uh, they are not just words they are the methods uh, mm -hmm. which will help you to uh, achieve what you want in life uh, be it any exam or be it anything in your life if you are consistent and if you are determined to get that uh, no one can stop you i i for for this i just wanted to use uh, an example that uh, the moment i started preparing for ugc in net uh, one of my family members one was in hospital so um, uh, in fact they uh, she was uh, she was getting her mri done and in front of her room i was sitting and there was one thing in my hand which was the ugc net book i i have already said that there is a deadline that i have to achieve and if i cannot if i cannot be consistent in that deadline i cannot achieve what i wanted to achieve and right now the first person which i to which i told that i cleared ugc in a jrf exam was her only and she was very happy uh, so consistency perseverance and determination these are the methods to your success secondly uh, i just wanted to say uh, that achieving something in life should not be about becoming better than others it's always about becoming better than your previous selves so uh, for this i just wanted to use an example that i gave around 15 to 20 mock tests uh, before appearing for ugc net grf and each time i was competing with myself only that i have to uh get more percentile uh, than this if if i am getting 95 or 96 in first attempt i have to get 98 99 in next attempt so i have to compete myself in in every situation of life there is no competition other for me other than me that's it amazing amazing saranch i think both of these advices especially the second one 
first one is of course very important but the second one i feel is very very crucial but we we often tend we often do not realize it because bahut baar main groups pe dekhta hu ki kuch logo ke answer sahi ho rahe hote hain telegram pe kuch logo ke youtube sessions mein agar answer sahi ho rahe hote hain score zyada aa raha hota hai to mujhe turant message aa jata hai the moment i end up the session ki sir hamare to do hi teen questions sahi ho rahe hain bakiyon ke char panch ho rahe hain so i think if we actually imbibe it in us ki nahi hame khud se better hona hai what we are yesterday usse better hona hai to i think we keep improving day by day it has been an absolute pleasure saranj talking to you it has been wonderful in fact talking to you and i'm very sure i'm extremely sure that all those who are going to listen to your video are going to be very inspired by your journey and your success heartiest congratulation once again saranj and thank you so much for finding out time and joining us on the channel thank, thank you, you so thank much. you so much thank you so much sir